20 grams or 10 grams. Five grams per day. 25 to 30 grams. Of 25 grams. Should you be taking 20 grams creatine for more muscle gains? The answer for 99% of us is a hard no. And I'll explain exactly why. Think of your muscles as a fuel tank. A standard three to five grams of creatine fills this perfectly. Creatine does two things for muscle growth. First, it gives you more fuel, hence helping you lift heavier and more reps. This is the primary signal for muscle protein synthesis. Secondly, a full tank draws in water into the muscle cell. This creates a perfect anabolic environment for muscle protein synthesis. But here's the key. Once the tank is full, 20 grams is not going to make it fuller. Instead, the extra creatine spills out and is often wasted. But what if the target is not your muscles, but your brain? Your brain is like a supercomputer and in diseases like Alzheimer's, the brain cells are facing a massive energy crisis. The primary job of creatine is to provide energy and it does this by donating one phosphate group helping you make ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell. But the brain has a super strict bouncer called as the blood-brain barrier, and it does not allow a standard dose of 5 grams of creatine to pass through it. To sneak a little bit more creatine into the struggling brain cells, clinical researchers have found out to flood the system with 20 grams creatine. And let me be clear, this is early stage experimental research for a specific disease condition under medical supervision. It is not a life hack for healthy people to boost brain power. The evidence is clearly not there yet. So the takeaway is simple. For building muscle and boosting performance, three to five grams of creatine is enough to fill the tank and support growth. And pushing 20 grams of creatine is for a medical condition under supervision and still requires more research.